start, let's bring you some very quick sports updates now. The couple they've led Cricket Advisory Committee is going to be interviewing the six shortlisted candidates. That's, of course, for the position of head coach of the Indian cricket team today in Mumbai. It's also going to be announcing who they've chosen, apparently, today. The board has already sent a mail to the three-member Cricket Advisory Committee informing them of the date of the interviews. The three-member body is led by the former Indian cricketer Kapil Dev. It also has Anshman Gekwar and Shanta Rangaswamy. They've all been only been picked for the purpose of selecting the men's head coach. Now, earlier, this was the ad hoc panel which selected uh, Vivi Ra Raman and the senior women's head coach. The six shortlisted candidates for the job are current incumbent Ravi Shastri. There's also, of course, Lal Chand Rajput, Robin Singh, Tom Moody, Phil Simmons and Mike Hessen. Bren McCullum has been appointed as the head coach. This is of the Kolkata Knight Riders. This follows the exit of Jacquez Callis, who was served as the capacity and in that capacity since October 2015. Now, McCullum had two stints as a player with KKR in the Indian Premier League between 2008 and 2010, and then again for the 2012 to 2013 seasons. His association with the franchise goes beyond as well, having played for the Trinbago Knight Riders in the Caribbean Premier League also. And another update from the cricketing world. Chris Gale is not done with his international career. He looks set to continue his innings with the West Indies cricket team. After the third ODI against India, the Windies cricket put out a video in which Gale said that he didn't announce any retirement. Now, this is the third time in the year that Gale has gone back on his retirement talk. Earlier this year, before the series against England, Gale had announced that he will retire from international cricket. This is after World Cup 2019. Take a look at his comment. And the question everybody is asking, have you retired from ODI? I didn't have, and I didn't announce anything, any retirement. <laughs> so you're still with us? Yeah, until a year further notice. Oh, okay. We're at the end of this morning's Head Start. Right at the end, let's take a look at this very special story. Uh, Vivek Vardhani Educational Society has the distinction of playing host to the Mahatma when he visited the city in 1929. The over 100 year school has played a part in the freedom struggle. It was also a pivotal part of the Telangana movement in the early 1940s. But as my colleague Rishka Sadam found, the school is struggling right now to find funds for survival. Take a look at this story. A handwritten note by Gandhi with best wishes and a message. The proud possession of Hyderabad's Vivek Vardhini Educational Society. Sridhar Kunde was a two-month-old infant when Gandhi visited the school in 1929. He was collecting funds for the freedom struggle on his maiden visit to the city. Gandhi held a meeting at the school at which he reportedly discussed the need to emphasize on the rights of Harijans. Kunde heard the story from his seniors. There's also a picture of the visit. He appealed to people for donations, one thing. Secondly, he said that encourage cotton industry, khadar and other, whatever the productions are to be made in villages. Right. Because he said unless this economic emancipation of the villages, unless they become independent, we cannot achieve independence. A temporary stage was set up for Gandhi to address the huge crowd gathered to catch a glimpse of him. Founded in 1907 for linguistic minorities, Vivek Vardhini was one of the first institutions to encourage regional languages and the first girls only school. It provides free education to its students, but with lack of funds from the government, it's getting tougher to make ends meet. It's run now with private donations from alumni and the board of trustees, who are also former students of the school. Had there been a number decline in the numbers of the students getting enrolled every year? Earlier it was there, but now it is not there. It is day by day increasing. I mean, I must say that every academic year we are getting good number of students, and uh, the school is maintained such, in such a way that we are competent to fight with the commercial school. The government, we are still called aided school, 
now aided means they used to give teachers also the right. lecturers and teachers in schools and colleges were appointed by the government right. now as a policy slowly they are yeah. stopping it so there is no replenishment of staff as and when the staff retires we have to appoint new teachers on ad hoc basis and then to match the government level of salaries that is where we find it little difficult actually it's improving 5 years ago where we had uh, uh, just about 100 students and dwindling strengths because of these policies now we have more than 500 in that school from the quit india movement to the recent telangana agitation this school has witnessed a lot of action but the most memorable one for them is mahatma gandhi's visit and a meeting held at this very place where i'm standing and all that's remaining today is this old and historic building and management's hope that they'll be able to keep this place running with camera person venkatesh this is rishika sadam for cnn news 18 in hyderabad